Joker fam, it's your boy Ha Ha Joker, aka Black Joker. And today, as you guys know, this is gonna be my last video before Madden 22 drops. Now, real quick, before I get into anything that I'm gonna be doing as far as content for Madden 22, I'm gonna try to get through this real quick. But first, I want to say thank you guys so much for making this year what it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, we already know COVID and stuff messed a lot of things up, but through all of that, you guys found time to watch my video support me and support what i do and that in itself means so much the fact that this you guys have came together as a community to support this channel to keep pushing this channel and keep supporting me and what i do like i said it, it really does mean a lot so i want to say thank you guys but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into this now number one being as far as what you guys could expect from madden 22 from this channel number one being i am going to be playing on next gen for Madden 22. Now, don't get me wrong. If next gen is trash next year, I'm gonna go back to current gen. Which is just that simple. But as of right now, I'm sticking with next gen. Okay. Also, obviously, we're bringing back No Fly Zone, the Raiders theme team. We're gonna. That's that's obviously coming back without a doubt. Now, the 305 boys, Dolphins theme team. That's gonna be a little bit tougher to do this year because. If you guys don't know, from at least from what I've heard, EA has now implemented some way that they could maneuver the auction house and monitor the auction house a little bit more. So, from my understanding, from what I've what I've heard at least, so think about it like this: Khalil Mack last year, right? For most fear, he dropped. Let's say Khalil Mack is going for about 500k, right? So there's now a maximum bid and a minimum bid you can have. Unlike Madden 21 and back, where you can put a card up, put a gold card up for 10 mil, and you can put them up for 250 coins, whatever. That's what you can do. But this year for Madden 22, from my understanding, is that there's now a maximum and a minimum bid. So 500k Khalil Mack, the max, again, and I don't know if this is going to be an exact number. If it's 100k more and 100k less, I don't know if that's the exact number. But the max bid you can put on that card is 600k and that's it you can't put it up any higher than that unless something changes or unless um somehow uh, another card comes out and that price drops or whatever the case is again i don't know where ea will be getting these numbers from whether it's from reddit or the madden community i, I have no idea but that's that's what it is so far and like the minimum you can put a card down for is probably 400k you know what i'm saying so 500 is the middle if you want to sell it quick you can put it up for 400k and if you want to see if you can maximize your coins you can put it up for 600k but there that's it you know what i'm saying that's the most you can do and that's the least you can do this becomes a problem because as you guys know as of mad 21 i did buy coins so that makes it a lot more difficult for that to happen ea is doing the best they can to keep as much money in their pockets as possible which is crazy that they can implement a program like that into the game to keep money in their pockets but they continue having issues and problems with their game constantly priorities but again not my company so it is what it is but either way man that is going to be a little bit difficult but it the way i can flip this is again it can be added content to the channel i can do pack openings for the channel now so Depending on how EA is going to operate that, if they're even going to implement it or if it's just talks or whatever the case is, we'll see. And that's obviously going to determine what I'm going to do with the Dolphins theme team. But with that aside, also, shout outs to Vinny, Jets fan. He's going to allow me, if, if he does it, when he does it, I don't know when. But when he gets a chance, gets around to building a Jets theme team, he is going to allow, allow me to use his Jets theme team for content for the channel. This is what I'm talking about as far as the community coming together to help push this channel further and past 1K. Once we hit 1K, it goes past that because of things like this. Vinny is a Jets fan. He's not a Raiders fan. He's not a Dolphins fan. He has nothing to do with neither one of the teams that I post on. But he fucks with my content. He fucks with what I do here. And... He likes what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to achieve with this channel. And he wants to help that. So, again, 
I want to say thank you, Vinny, for that. Also, Madden Beast, as long as you guys know him, day one guy, man. He's planning on making a Bears theme team. Now, again, that's kind of up in the air because he is a Raiders fan. But depending on what he does, could possibly have also Bears gameplay, Bears theme team on this channel. So we'll see how that goes. Another thing, too, Madden 22 franchise mode. Now, I haven't gotten a chance to play too much franchise in the earlier years because franchise has obviously been trash but obviously man uh, ea has talked a lot for madden 22 and their franchise how they've you know rebuilt it revamped it whatever the case is so i'm, I'm gonna test my luck in that you know what i'm saying again it can only benefit the channel can't hurt it so i'm gonna try out see how franchise mode works the new try out the new features stuff like that and see how it goes i am going to try to keep it to 32 man leagues because I don't know. To me, playing with like five or six friends, I don't know. I don't think that's appealing enough for gameplay. Only because a good amount of those games, I'm probably going to end up playing against the CPU. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of boring. And again, 32 man leagues are kind of hard to operate because, you know, people got jobs, other responsibilities, so on and so forth. So some people might drop out, but I want to do the best I can to keep all my gameplays on the channel as far as dealing with franchise mode. Try to keep them all to user-based games. You get what I'm saying? Other than that, that's what I'm going to be trying to working. What I'm working towards as far as Madden 22, um, next gen franchise mode, Dolphins, Raiders, Bears, and Jets theme teams, and of course pack openings. Again, these things vary depending on what EA decides to do. A lot of it depending on what they're going to be doing with the auction house and how much effect they are going to have on an auction house. But We'll, we'll see what happens. And also, one more thing too. I almost forgot. I am going to be streaming on YouTube now. All right? So I used to stream on Twitch, but I want to focus more on my YouTube channel. The thing is, is that that's the, pretty much the reason why I started streaming on Twitch in the first place, is to get more eyes on me for Twitch so that I could bring that over to YouTube. But as it is, I am going to change over and start streaming on YouTube. So hopefully you guys have your notifications on. I am going to be streaming a lot more Madden 22 on YouTube. But with all that being said, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any other ideas that you guys would like to see for content that I can possibly do for you guys. Again, you guys know I'm very active in the comment section, so anything that I can make time for or whatever the case is, I'm definitely going to try to make time for as far as your, gu your guys' idea on content for the channel. But that's what I'm planning on doing for Madden 22 content. Again, you guys let me know your opinions in the comment section below. And I hope you guys continue rocking with me and continue walking with me on this journey to growing this channel. Again, guys, thank you for all the love and thank you for all the support. To the next one, guys. Peace.